Do we want to talk about the writer's strike stuff? Because there's kind of some interesting stuff that's been happening. Yeah, you sure. seen that video of Ron Perlman yeah. basically making direct threats to Bob Iger? <laughs> that, that's pretty insane. <laughs> I haven't seen it, no. But I saw like the story. <laughs> I it was on our Reddit. I haven't watched it, but what does he say? I've seen He's like, like the... well, so he essentially says he he makes like a little Instagram or whatever video of him talking to the camera. He's really serious and stern and like kind of fucking scary. And he's like, listen. <laughs> well, yeah, Ron Perlman's scary. <laughs> yeah, and so he's, he's talking about, he's like, so Kathy. without naming him, there's somebody that we know that's making like $27 million, uh, $270 million a, a year off of creating nothing. And you thought that our demands were unreasonable and you think that people should lose their houses? Because literally, like Bob Iger, I think it was like in a billionaire's meeting or something when he said this, he's like, oh yeah, their demands are unreasonable. So our plan is to just wait until they, <laughs> until they have to come crawling back to us because they can't pay their rent. Oh or God. whatever like he was literally just saying out loud like oh yeah that's our plan and so ron perlman is like you think people should lose their houses there's plenty of ways to lose a house and we know where you live <laughs> it was like oh <laughs> like, that's like you have full sons of anarchy yeah <laughs> holy shit i have a feeling like, he might get blacklisted at some point i don't i don't fucking know how many strings disney can pull to blacklist him from everything maybe he'll only be showing up yeah. in like indie projects from now on i i don't fucking know but Jesus, I'm sure that, it'll be fine. he was kind of scary. And then I, th- I think Sean Gunn made like a more palatable, yeah. less controversial video on on the subject, and he was essentially just saying like, okay, the the average CEO page fifty, uh, sorry, the average CEO wage fifty years ago was forty, like thirty thirty or forty times what their lowest paid worker made. Now it's like four hundred. There's something wrong with that. And it's like, yeah, I agree. Like, yeah. you know, there's there's a lot of people looking at the situation and being like, oh, what? Fucking writers, a lot of them get overpaid anyway. Or actors, like, they're all rich anyway. It's like, this isn't just for the top people making money in Hollywood. This is, e- e- even if, let's say, every single writer and actor was doing fine and they weren't in any kind of financial crisis and there wasn't like huge inflation and rent crises especially happening in like Los mm-hmm. Angeles and shit if let's say if let's say every fucking actor and writer that this affected was entirely well off i would still agree with them because the people hogging all the fucking wealth are just the people that own the properties and it shouldn't be rigged to this extensive of, of a degree yeah. like yeah yeah the yeah. pay disparity is ridiculous. There, it, it should be more reasonable. Like the Overton yeah. window has shifted so far that what we accept as normal is not fucking normal. It's not fucking normal. Yeah. This is extreme no. and we yeah. should have been it complaining about it way. and yeah. doing something no. about it fucking 50 years ago when it started happening. Like, holy shit, this is really mm-hmm. late stage shit that we're talking about. This is not normal and it shouldn't be normal. Yeah, the pay disparity is way too much, yeah. It's ridiculous. And, you know, I can agree that, like, you know, an assistant editor is not as important of a job as an editor. They have more creative input in the movie, so they should be paid more, but not by that much. It shouldn't be, like, yeah, 40, 400 times, <laughs> like, you know, what a what an assistant editor makes or what, you know, like an animator makes, like one animator yeah. working on the movie. It's not the same as, like, a creative director or, you know, one of those jobs, but, you know. There needs to be a little less of a disparity, for sure. I mean, it's not even... Like, I feel like most people would agree the, with that. There are, like, residual problems as well, right? Like, um, yeah. I think I saw something being shared of one of the Orange's the New Black uh, actors, like, sharing their residual paycheck, and it's, like, $20 or something insane. Like, yeah, that's what's insane yeah. about it, is, like, especially because of streaming. That's why they're protesting, is because, you know, the the contracts that they've had for these films... You know, there hasn't been anything that mentions streaming specifically and anything that does mention streaming specifically. The the amount of money that they're making off of each click is just so much worse because, of course, that's how Mm -hmm. things work. You know, as soon as there's an excuse to change things, it won't be in their favor. It'll be in the favor of Bob Iger, who could realistically take like, I don't know a 50% pay cut and his life would be no different, (laughs) right? Like, Mm -hmm. oh no, Mm -hmm. oh, I can't buy a second island this year. Like, what do you, what do you, you, (laughs) why are you hoarding everything? Your lifestyle isn't going to fucking change. Like, what are you doing? You're not spending all that money in a year. You're just hoarding it. You're a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've mentioned it before. In our lifetimes, it went from billionaire status being like a comical literal comic book trait for batman and now it's just like a reality like there's just a bunch of them and they just own everything there's like yeah. nothing left they buy twitter on yeah. a whim 
<laughs> Very mm-hmm. useful. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of that, man, I, I opened Twitter the other day, right? And like the main tweet that was at the top of my timeline, it was a pirated French copy of Across the Spider Verse, like the whole movie. Like yeah. Yeah. pretty good quality. Like yeah. <laughs> it's just like what is going on? <laughs> yeah. The website's like mostly bots at this point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's yeah, it's terrible that site. And it's like you know, you open up Twitter on the main page. It's usually Elon Musk posts. I've blocked you know, him so it's I don't just see like, him. It's, <laughs> I got sick of it. Uh, well, I mean, like if you go, like if you go in Indigo mode, right? You just go to like Twitter.com, and like you, mm. the top post is usually an Elon Musk thing. It's like his spaceship that blew up. <laughs> yeah, sharing his like Elden Ring build or whatever yeah. he's doing, whatever game he's. Yeah, playing. right. It's just it's just like a promotional tool for him now. It's it's his own truth then social, like, which you know, yeah. like Trump made his own website so that he could just be the main character of it, and now Elon bought Twitter so he can do the same thing. Yeah, so he could be the main character just to yeah, feed right. the egos. Exactly. Yeah, very useful. It's a public town square. Uh, an internet <laughs> town square or whatever the fuck you said. Yeah, he fucking destroyed <laughs> Unless it. you say the word cis, apparently, which is going to get you banned. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't say that. That's a, that's a, 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 slur, now. a slur now. Yeah, that's which a slur. Fascinating. fascinating. Yeah, that is actually fucking crazy. Yeah. What a crazy mm-hmm. story that was in and of itself. Man. Yeah. Did, did, would they rather be called cisgender? Is that the thing? Or they just don't want to like have any classification and they're just like, no, I'm normal. I'm not anything. Yeah, they're just normal. And, and normal. yeah, they're normal. <laughs> like, what, is, is hetero a slur now? Like, is hetero, you can't, is heterosexual a slur? Is that like, or if you're being consistent, then that would be two, right? Like, I don't understand what you're saying. Right? Straight people are normal. Everyone else are, is gay. Everyone else That's is gay. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, people thought he was like Iron Man as well when he first like was appearing on podcasts oh, yeah. and stuff. <laughs> so like cringy. And re- There's some really <laughs> funny uh, yeah. YouTube content that aged like milk of like people being like, yeah. this guy's the Iron Man. It was a it was such a Reddit well, thing like- <laughs> at the time, you know? Like just <laughs> yeah, everybody just circle so drinking like Oh, he's going to save those Chilean children that are lost in the mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then he just called That's someone right. a pedophile. He, he just called the guy a pedophile. That's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you make my idea don't look good. You must want to fuck the kids. <laughs> like, what are you talking oh, about? Yeah. He's such a joke yeah. now. Like, <laughs> so insane. Yeah, he's, he's a total joke, yeah. That happened to a lot of those guys now. He's got this whole like army of fans on Twitter, and there's this like particularly like cringe uh, tweet that I've seen like shared um, relating to Spider Verse. It's like you know, <laughs> it's you know that shot in Spider Verse where like Miles he's got his, his his arms behind his back and he kind of like falls into bed. Like the phrasing of the tweet was something like, <laughs> "My last few seconds existing as Elon Musk in Elon Musk's body right before I come back." Some green shit like that. Like just, like, <laughs> just imagining themselves as him. Like, <laughs> no, I think I think that was like him, him jumping off the building. Like, like the joke right. was he jumps off the building and then he like you know Elon Musk comes back into his body and then he like falls to his death. I think that was like the joke actually. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I might be wrong, but I think that was it. It was more like a diss at Elon Musk. I think oh, man. I might be wrong. Have you but. seen those like creepy, weird accounts of people photo like th- they're doing these weird, I guess, AI created images of like what Elon Musk would look like as a child? And they're like, this is what his children would look like, even though he like has real children, but <laughs> like, yeah. that are that are not associated with him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that have like yeah. cut ties with him. Yeah, yeah they like hate like, him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's these people like, oh, this is like the cutest little girl. And it's like just Elon Musk's face on like a four year old. And they're all sharing this fucking. <laughs> it's like grandma Facebook shit. It's on Twitter now. We've gotten everyone's grandmas so on Twitter now. It's the grandma verse. <laughs> he must love that stuff as well. I see in it. He, <laughs> he is like the most desperate for validation person on the fucking planet. Mm hmm. Yeah, seems very insecure. Yeah. Yeah, he's awful. Ruined Twitter. Ruined uh, everything. 
I mean, uh, if he was, if there's a lot of uh, good things his money could go towards, and he bought Twitter. Yeah, for a ridiculous amount of money. Like, yeah. It's just like, George Lucas sold Star Wars for like $4 billion. He bought Twitter for like fucking like $48 billion or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. So yeah. fucking unnecessary. It's sad.